Okay, it's May 6th, 2011. Graduation at New York Maritime College. Beautiful sunny day. Parking lots here are filling up. See the Frog's Neck Bridge there in the background. And down near the fort where graduation ceremonies will take place, Fort Schuyler. And here is the part of the campus. There's the plaque that actually sits in front of the big uh, propeller here. The ship. Many cars are arriving pretty rapidly now. This looks like the Commandant's house is over here. And sure enough, is the school's president's quarters. It's right adjacent to the fort. Hey, you guys graduating today? No, I'm just helping out. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay, so here's some of the school buildings, dormitories, classrooms, I assume, administration. As we look down this road, looking right onto the school's ship. Beautiful looking uh, homes along here. Must be high level officers. Excuse me, are you graduating today? Am I? Yes. No, no, unfortunately. No, no, okay. Now, what are these buildings here? Who are in these particular buildings right here? These must be the higher level officers? Yes. Yeah, yeah I think so. The Admiral lives in that other house. Oh, the, uh, the President's house? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And these are all officers. Okay. Well, very good. Thanks, guys. Good. It's like low tide right now. This is the Maritime School ship, Empire State. It's right at the base of the Project Bridge. And we are looking back towards those homes I was just asking the people about. And off in the distance. The Whitestone Bridge. And the city skyline. Now as you can see the goalposts for the football field and the scoreboard football field, they ran across this great site, which is the graduates forming for their parade when they march into the stadium. Okay, so here they are. 
Graduates getting ready. Parents and now taking pictures. There he is. Kenny is ready. Okay, so they're going over. Get in front of them. Up, they're all going to the what? I guess it's not for a march in. Yeah, no, you gotta do that shit. I'm an honor. I'm an honor. i I'm What's up, Katie, bro? How are you? Katie, bro. Where's Chris? I don't know. I haven't seen him. Do we go this one? Do have tickets? Mom, do you have the tickets? See, we don't have tickets. They don't let us in. I left my house at 8. I got here at 9 15 ish. Somewhere around there. Where are we going, 
Congratulations, uh, could that kill in? Thank you, sir. Good job, guys. Someday it's your turn. Get a bunch of medals. Hello. <laughs> okay, inside of the fort right now. Not sure if the cadets are going to march in or not. I would hope they do. Right down this aisle. <laughs>
proud parents, Cheryl and Fran Nielsen, yep. Cadet Kenny. And I was just getting the low down. Coming up, and, freshman uh, this year. Maddie, okay, kid. She's not paying any attention. He doesn't go for it. Okay, so listen, good conduct ribbons from past prior service. And, and Fran, of course, proudly maritime wearing his maritime pin and his technical. What High is school it? in Japan. Uh, the, uh, the the star underneath. In okay, Japan. good job, guys. Yep. Congratulations. Great accomplishment for Kenny. Yeah. And I'm telling you, he's going to get a great job, and half the kids graduating so they don't even have jobs. Okay, so say that again. Yeah. Don't walk away. Yeah. It's off limits to undergraduates. Undergraduates, right. Ah. This board, it's always been going around the perimeter. Got it. Nice. Great custom. Kind of like up at West Point, they have the big plane that sits out in front of the Washington statue. No one's allowed to walk on it. Really? Only, only for cadets. The long gray line of cadets that have gone through there. That's what you're entering and leaving. Barbara. Similar idea. <laughs> Who do you have graduating today? My grandson. Fantastic. And what's his name? Becker. 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 Joe Becker. Joe Becker? Cadet Joe Becker. Great. <laughs> Engineer or Decker? Masters. <laughs> he graduated a master. couple of years ago with um, oh, SBS. Oh, so he's here for his masters. He came back for yeah. his masters. Wow. Excellent. Oh, nice. I'm very happy. Okay, so we got one of the... And he paid for himself. So the, one guess. of the graduates. <laughs> That's even better. That's even better. Yes. There you go, Ma. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you for myself, yeah. Today is the official meeting ticket. pointed out, Kenneth Richard Nielsen, under the Bachelor of Science for General Engineering. Okay, Kenny's roommate Bergen is over here, getting blocked by some people. Um, Hopefully I'll get a better shot soon. There he is. Very brief photo. Video without it being blocked. There you go, younger brother. Grabbing the hat. Maybe he'll have a chance to be cadet here someday. Good job, kid. One of the uh, cadets who was on the sailing ship that beat Navy and everyone else for the Shields Cup in uh, 2009. Possibly in 2008 as well. And um, first time those two years that the Maritimes had won in almost 20 years. The sailing uh, regatta that takes place in Annapolis Harbor. Okay. I think the cadets are forming up outside and will be marching in shortly. Okay. Oh my God. It's a nice picture. But if you're on the outside of those, of the portholes basically of the front tent, you can't see anything. Hey, Kevin! How you doing, buddy? 
detail on that until I see the tape later on. Yeah. What I actually filmed was the... Just, what, get a seat? Uh, I, I and Sergeant, we got them on the way in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but in the seats with their hats and looking at them from the back, it's like, forget it. I mean, the best we'll have now is when they go up graduation. Yeah. I'm going to put this up on YouTube so we can see it. The idea.
first, let us be thankful that this glorious day reflects our soaring spirits. Let us pray. Creator of the universe, master of the seas, mistress of the winds, be present in our hearts and spirits on this day and about this great college. We ask you to be always with our graduates, for the sea of life is wide and our ships are small. We pray that the one who spreads out the heavens and rules the raging of the seas receive into protection all the members of this graduating class as they depart to go down to the seas and ships and occupy their business on the great waters of life. Enlighten and uphold those who ship out, those who manage the maritime industry, those who serve their country, and those who use their mariner's education in the wider world. Preserve them both in body and soul, prosper their labors with dignity and success. In all times of danger, be their defense and bring them to the snug havens which they seek. These things we ask in the name of the one at whose words even the winds and the waters obey. Amen. Please be seated. <coughs> that guy is in the family son of St. Patrick with me. Will we stand for the name of yep. Fred? Is Eunice Lewin, trustee, board of trustees. <laughs> Professor Dr. Mohammed Shaheen, Istanbul Technical University, rector at our dual diploma program. Vice Admiral uh, John Green, president of the Maritime College. Nice. Mr. David Matsuda, Administrator, Maritime Administration. Mr. Timothy Alar, Chair, City Maritime College Council. Captain Anthony Lloyd, Commanding Officer, National Maritime Center. Ms. Liz Pretorius, Vice President for Operations. <laughs> Dr. Irene Delgado, Dean of Students. <laughs> Captain Thomas Green, Vice President of Universal Relations, Deputy Commandant of the <laughs> Dr. Gil Traub, Associate Provost and Academic Dean. Mr. Jonathan White, Dean of Admissions. <laughs> Dr. Larry Howard, Chair of Global Business and Transportation Department. <laughs> Reverend Dr. John Farrell, Director of Campus Ministries. Yes. Professor Anthony Palmiotti, Department Chair, Marine Transportation. James Driscoll, Chair, Naval Science Department. <laughs> Mr. Shafiq Fazal, Associate Director of the Library. <laughs> Dr. Richard Burke, Chair of the Engineering Department. <laughs> Dr. Kathy Ozeski, Chair of the Science Department. Captain Ernest Fink, Chair of the Professional Education and Training Department. And Dr. Karen Marco, Chair of the Humanities Department. I would also like to recognize, and if you please stand when I call your name, Senior Vice Chancellor John O'Connor, Senior Vice Chancellor for Research and Innovation, and Secretary of the University and President of Research Foundation. Amazing. 
Dr. Mitch Leventhal, Vice Chancellor yeah, of Global Affairs. Yeah, they're all right behind the speaker. Speaker, can you see? Can you see him at all? Mr. William Gary, College Council Member. This is Tom Maglioka, class of 1953, college council member. Yeah, they're, they're actually behind the exit sign of the speaker. So and our good there. neighbor, Captain Samuel Tate, commanding officer, national uh, Navy yeah, and operations supply. Uh, so, service <laughs> Also, I'd like to recognize the Parents Association, with LED, outgoing president, and Michael Valadia, uh, the incoming vice president. And of course, our Grand Marshal Distinguished Chief Professor, Dr. Holly Spat, our Master of Arms, Dr. William Asano. Asking you to join me in thanking the Cadet Color Guard, our Piper, Cadet Brandon Ross, and the band, with special thanks to the Corral and Band Director, Lieutenant Kyle Fridlin, and of course, our College Registrar, Ms. Carol Roth, and my Executive Assistant, Ms. Pat Norman, for their fine work, which adds so much to today's ceremony. Today I am pleased to recognize one faculty and two staff as Chancellor's Excellence Award recipients. I ask that Professor John Matheson, Mr. Richard Bud Mead, and Mr. Joseph Mazzella please join me at the podium with Adam Crane and your department heads. Of the SAIL program. 
received a scholarship from ABS, American Bureau of Shipping, and an award for excellence for his local ambulance corporation. Eric has been on the ABS list or the Admiral's list every semester that he was here.
please stand as well. Students Achieving and Leadership Program. They are also, along with Dean Tarnas Johnson, Ms. Devin Switzer, and myself, the founding members of the Maritime College Chapter of the National Institute of Leadership Honor Society, Omicron Delta Kappa, also known as ODK, and are identified by the cords that we are wearing around our necks and on our uh, athletes. Please join me today in congratulating these campus leaders. May 2011 valedictorian, officer candidate Frank Lynham. Frank, please come up to the podium. Officer candidate Lynham is a senior with Admiral 21 Bachelor of Engineering and Electrical Engineering with the Naval Science minor student and has earned the highest undergraduate GPA 4.0 out of 4.0. Graduation, you report to the Naval Reactors, very prestigious in Washington, D.C. Frank. Thanks for giving me the chance to speak today. Uh, let me just start by saying I used to have a chief who always said that he should uh, be a place a little better than he found it. Of course, he used more colorful words, he wasn't chief. Um, and I think that that's really apt in describing maritime, uh, not only uh, as a student body, like but professors. Um, I know that the whole time I've been here, every professor I've spoken to has been striving to improve every aspect of their curriculum and the degree program that they're associated with. I know that more degrees are now getting aimed at accreditation, and uh, more degrees on this side of the campus are, are getting expanded in new and exciting ways. And a big part of that is the, the top leadership. And I, I just want to thank uh, all those folks sitting behind me for, for their contribution to making the school a, a better school. And I think that, that comes from a better school is really key. We're not the best school. And that's that's what's important. They have these academic rank, rankings that talk about sitting in a classroom and, and studying books, but we're not the best on those rankings. We're the best in a different way. We're, we're getting better every year. We're improving every aspect, and that's where our focus is, is building our school to be a better school. And that idea of making a place better while you're there is what's more important than reading those, than sitting in the classroom and studying those books. Those extra things outside of the classroom that we get from Maritime, the ship, the, the lab experience, the leadership experience in, in the core of cadets and in NROTC is unique, that they don't have this level of sophistication in terms of all around curriculum at any other university. And I think that makes Maritime better than the best. And we continue to get better every year. And that, that saying that my team had, where you come to a place and, and you find it and you make it a little better before you leave, I think that um, we're, we're a little better for coming here too, after uh, Maritime Synonymous. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak out. I'll, I'll see you all in the park. Uh, 
Uh, I would like to take a moment to recognize a few high-profile retirements. Uh, Mr. Bud Mead, Acting Director of HR. Ms. Carol Roth, College Registrar. Reverend Dr. John Farrell. And our Chair of Animal Science, Captain Jim Driscoll. Please stand and be recognized for your contribution to the college. Of course, now to the most prominent retiree, the man who provides the day-to-day -day leadership and has made Maritime the great college that it is. It is my honor to introduce Vice Admiral John W. Crane, Jr., President of City Maritime College. Thank you very much, Dr. Hoffman, Administrator Matsuda, Director Shine. Trustee Lowen, Senior Vice Chancellor O'Connor, Vice Chancellor Leventhal, College Council Chair Ms. Lar, Dr. Hoffman, Captain Green, Captain Lloyd, Vice President Victorious, distinguished guests, faculty, parents, family members, alumni, and especially class 2011. Good morning and welcome. It is indeed an honor and a pleasure to be here to celebrate this milestone of your lives. Well, what we celebrate today is a commencement or beginning, a new chapter in the lives of our graduates. We also recognize and celebrate their achievements while they've been here at Fort Schuyler. I know that today is a day of mixed feelings and emotions for many of you all. You have pride in your accomplishments, your graduation, excitement of what's to come, Sadness about leaving friends and the security of college and home, anticipation of starting a new job, and being on your own. And I'm sure some of you are just happy and relieved that this day has come. But regardless of what you're feeling, it's important to realize during your time here that you've grown and matured in ways that you may not yet fully comprehend. You've learned to think on a different level. You've learned the value of self-discipline and strong work ethic. You've learned how to make choices and live with the results. You've learned how to be independent as well as work as part of a team. You've gained confidence to know that you can do whatever you set out to do. You've made new friendships that will truly last a lifetime. The education that you've received here in our classrooms and internships and awardship will allow you to be successful and productive in many, many ways throughout the rest of your careers and your lives. And the key element of being able to achieve success is the ability to hang on to your own hopes and dreams with thinking them. As Carl Sandberg said, nothing happens unless first we dream. Today, you all are experiencing a dream come true your hard work and determination. Your commencement today is the beginning of new opportunities to realize new hopes and dreams. Whatever you do, don't lose sight of them. Don't ever stop striving to achieve them. And don't let anyone, including yourself, talk you out of them. My hope for each of you is that you will continue to pursue your hopes and dreams with the same drive, determination, strong work ethic, that brought you to this day. If you do this, I have no doubt that all of your future hopes and dreams will come true. Congratulations on your graduation. I wish each of you all the very best for continued success and happiness and a future full of dreams. While we're extremely proud of our graduates, I know that as a parent, that it's our parents and family members who are most proud what your sons and daughters have achieved, and you're gratified that you have been able to help them achieve this experience this day. And I know that many of you all have sacrificed a great deal over the years to bring them here to this day. And we're thankful for that, and we're thankful that you have entrusted your sons and daughters to us. And I would now ask 
that our graduates to please stand, turn around, and just look at all of the smiling faces of the many family members.
And as Dr. Burke says, that's faculty with a capital F. That's the governance body that develops curriculum and academic policy policies here at the college. Many people don't realize that the president of the college serves as the chair of the faculty. Admiral, in recognition of this special relationship, I would like to make the following presentation. This is certified that Vice Admiral John W. Crane Jr. has been appointed chair of the faculty emeritus. Emeritus rank is bestowed upon professional staff employees who retire in good standing, and such rank entitles them to append the term emeritus to the title of their academic or administrative post <coughs> after their time of retirement. Signed, Dr. Richard Burke, presiding officer of the faculty, and Joseph Hoffman, provost and vice president of academic affairs. Congratulations.